G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today we're walking from the Blackwood Shelter on the Bibbleman Track down to the Gregory Brook Shelter on the Bibbleman Track and it's roughly 18 kilometres. Now it's just past 4 a.m. and as you can tell it is still dark. I don't think the camera will pick any of it up yet. You can just see the hills in the distance and the light is starting to appear over there. The dark isn't too bad. The bad part is the first bit as you come out of the shelter is what they call Cardiac Hill. So it's walking down that in the dark. So I'll see you along the way. How about this? After getting down Cardiac Hill and walking through the farmer's land, this is what we've come up to. A little esky with fruit in it. How cool is that? So look at the view. If you want to sit down and relax. What a beautiful relaxing spot. About one hour in. Okay, leaving the shelter when it's still dark. It wasn't too bad. You can still see all the stars in the skies. We're about 100 meters out of the shelter as you go up before you get to the cardiac hill bit. Now there's two large male kangaroos. And the reason I noticed them was because my head torch caught their eyes. And I was quite surprised how close I got to them walking past. I was only like two or three meters between us. I was a bit wary that they were going to get a bit upset, but they just turned around and hopped off, thankfully. Cardiac Hill. That took me about half an hour to get down, taking my time and using my poles. Poles are definite, your walking poles. We've been slightly wet today, and that made it a little bit slippery, the grass bits, the actual soil bits, and then on top of that, the honky nuts. So whether you're going up or coming down, take your time, and I'd recommend using your walking poles. Uh, come out, now which way? Oh, there it is down there. I've just come from the, uh, the farmer's land, and it brings you out on this track here. Now you can see, going the opposite way, there's a warble on the tree. But there's nothing directly in front of you. But if you look down to your right, it's down there on a tree trunk on the left. So that was good timing. Uh, yeah, once you get to the farm's field, that's just... Yeah, that's, that's lovely there, there is. You've got the water to your right. Uh, one of the farmers or one of the people who live there they've got a picnic bench and as you saw in the video earlier they've got the esky refruiting for the weary walkers and isn't beautiful trail angels things people do, it's great now I'm going to carry on walking enjoying this and I'll see you in about another hour so see you shortly
nearly two hours in. Uh, just started going up an incline the last five or ten minutes. So when you get to the uh, bridge over the river, you take a left and you keep walking, you'll slowly see it starting to incline. And then you see a bit of a, uh, a fork and you'll go right and then you keep following up this. It's not so steep now but a fair bit of it was. But the last hour, apart from this section has been fairly level and it's just a couple of little ups and downs, nothing serious. Plenty of kangaroos to, this morning. There's heaps of them. But with the incline going up, this is the views you're going to be getting. Just beautiful. And the mist on the water when I cross that bridge, it just looked fantastic. Another reason getting up early and starting early, you get to see all those beautiful views that most people miss when they leave once all that's gone. Right, carrying on up. Soon I think we'll be taking right and then going all the way up there. So I'll probably see in about another hour. Three hours in. First 40 minutes was steep all the way up. And yeah, it was just the gravel track most of the way until you got to the Millstream Dam. And then we had about three, four hundred meter, no, probably half a kilometer, a little bit more, quite steep going up the side there through the bush. For the last 20 minutes it leveled out to a degree we are getting a slight <coughs> incline still but nowhere near as serious as the first 40 minutes and the sun's coming out warming up warm enough to swap hats but still a bit of a chill so i'm leaving the jacket on for a little bit longer uh, you get one glimpse of the Millstream Dam as you're walking the track. Uh, and that's it. You're not allowed down near the dam. It'll be in the local town water, they said. So, 
no views of the sunlight rippling underwater today. But this little bit, like I said, still going up. My pace has slowed down. I've caught most of the webs, and most of them were in my face. It's still beautiful out here. You hear the sound of the birds. And even more kangaroos since last time. Yeah, it's just lovely. It's beautiful. I'll see you shortly. Four hours in. The last hour has been pretty decent. We've still had inclines and declines. It would have been rather gentle they have. I think it's the easiest way to describe them. Uh, warming up, the jacket's just come off. So it's still a slight chill, but not enough to warrant the jacket to stay on. Flies coming back again. So the bug net's going on in a minute. Not been much of views in the sense of uh, looking into valleys and anything like that. It's been quite overgrown so far. This is just starting to clear now as I say that. Let's see what views we've got down here. How about that? Beautiful. Walking poles today has made it a lot easier. I've got two more uh, inclines and then the second decline will take me down into the Gregory Brook shelter and that's in about seven kilometers I think. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'll talk to you again in about an hour. I'll see you shortly. Five hours in, and we're back on another access road called the Loggers Road. I think going by the map, we're going to be on this for a little while. But it's nice to be off the uneven ground. The last hour, we was fairly level, and then all of a sudden we dropped, and then we shot up, and now we're on our way back down. I think we've got one more up, then down a bit, then up and then down into Gregory Brook Shelter. Well, I think this, hopefully, is just going to make it a little bit easier, the road.
six hours in and about halfway up the final hill before we descend down into Gregory Brook which is about 1.3 kilometers from this point yeah it's been up and down again it hasn't been bad it hasn't been too bad to be honest it's a bit steep but having a break on those loggers roads was good the last video I did on the loggers road I mentioned that on the map it looks like the road takes us most of the way well about a kilometre down or 1.2 kilometres ish down there's a turning right and that takes you up an old four wheel drive track by the looks of it a little bit overgrown hasn't been used for a while but easy access up there and at the other end you'll come back onto another loggers road and you've got a choice of going to your right or going straight on because there's no warbles at this point what you do is you go straight on because the right takes you back up the hill and at this point you're still coming down and you'll notice a wall go one or two kilometers further down the road and then all of a sudden you get another one pointing you off right into the bush and that's where I am now so I'll see you when I get to the shelter made it to Gregory Brook, a bit of a disappointment when I got here they're doing structural work to the shelter so I'm not going to be able to use it and no bench underneath shade so I'm sat here I think the book this is the bench that was down there they've brought up here and it's under the trees and not far from the dunny so yeah today's walk to be honest it hasn't been bad I know I whinged and moaned a little bit but the worst part of it all really uh, wasn't the hills uh, cardiac hill coming down it was dark so it felt steep so I couldn't really see how steep it truly was but it took a while to get to the bottom so yeah it, it, I believe it was steep the other hills yeah they're, they're not the crazy steep but they just went on and on and on the, uh, the gravel tracks, the loggers roads this one section I'd like to say I complained about was where it was really overgrown now that did, how can I get it, uh, put it politely, that really did bother me that would be the word it made it more difficult to get through one two and three the ground was covered with hockey nuts and there was rocks in the ground too so we've not been able to see through properly, not been able to see down properly it made that section a little bit dangerous to be honest but when you come if you're going to be uh, travelling this section it may be different by then, they may have trimmed it all back and you'll be able to see and walk through there nice and clear the overall walk like I said it was nice didn't get much chance to see much uh, in the sense of views on this section uh, but you, well you can class views of the bush as views but the views of the sense of the hills and the valleys and uh, the dam we walked by yeah it, there wasn't much of that in this section so basically it's just chin up chest out and get from one end to the next so if you've enjoyed the video and you haven't subscribed already please go down below and click on the subscribe button click on the notification bell and select all so you can be notified of all future videos and select the thumbs up button the like button and if you are already a subscriber again I thank you very much so until next time get out there have some fun and take care <laughs>